This method can help understand key questions in how exercise can be used to diagnose a variety of pathologies, including exercise intolerance, ischemia, or subclinical dysfunctions not apparent at rest. The main advantage of this technique is that in a single test, by evaluating an individual's response to exercise, you can determine if there are cardiac, pulmonary, and or metabolic dysfunctions. Though this method can provide insight into understanding physiological responses to exercise, it can also be applied to understanding other parameters, such as changes to the immune system, neurological functions, and other cellular and biochemical processes. Demonstrating the procedure will be Jesse Schwartz, a technician in the Cardiopulmonary and Performance Laboratory. Begin the slow vital capacity maneuver by instructing the subject to sit with a straight back and feet flat on the floor with their legs uncrossed. Have the subject put his or her mouth around the mouthpiece and bite down. Then, fit the subject with a nose clip to seal off the nasal cavity. Start the maneuver on the software and instruct the subject to continue to breathe normally. Then, Ask the subject to inhale maximally and then exhale slowly until there is a plateau in the flow tracing. At this point, instruct the subject to take a maximal breath in. Lastly, stop the measurement and allow the subject to release the mouthpiece. For the forced vital capacity or FVC maneuver, instruct the subject to grasp the mouthpiece again while remaining in the same seated position. Start the maneuver on the software and instruct the subject to continue to breathe normally. Ensure the subject has established a stable breathing.